All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking real music in real time for a few real people out there just like you and just like me. want to continue to thank all the patrons uh, who are still there, still supporting the channel. Uh, we had a few increases uh, this week, so I really appreciate that. It's getting harder and harder to rope new folks into this. Um, some people don't like my uh, latest political uh, stance. I'm getting a lot of blowback from that because apparently I'm uh, not looking at all of the evidence. So I will be looking. See, you know, it's funny when people lecture you about things and they tell you, you don't know what you're talking about. You haven't really looked at this. I'm going to send you a link and that link will set you straight. I love when people do that here. Here's a link. You're stupid, so I'm going to send you a link. All right, I didn't want to go off on a tangent at the beginning here. Um, it's peace and love. I'm going to be talking about Paul McCartney, not Ringo. Um, but anyway, here's a Quint Starkey's Quintessential. Came out earlier this year. This is my adult contemporary album of the year from start to finish. Just a brilliant, uh, well-written well-played, well-produced piece of music. It's not for everybody. Might be a little too mellow for some of you out there. Or, like me, you know, as you get older, I don't want my ears to bleed constantly, so I put on some lighter material. Some people would call it West Coast music, whatever. Uh, so let's get on to the Paul McCartney story. Before we get there, though, don't forget about ModernRetroFM.com. Modern Retro Radio playing... New material by people like Paul McCartney. They're big McCartney fans over at Modern Retro. So uh, if you want to hear the latest and greatest from Paul McCartney, uh, check them out. Now, people checking out Paul McCartney, who is 81 years old now. And they put that in the article a lot. Okay. 81-year-old Paul McCartney. Here he is, 81. You know when they start doing that, Paul McCartney, comma, 81, opens. So they're basically saying, I can't believe this. He's 81. Hey, look, the old people are dominating the planet, right? You got uh, Biden, who is uh, 80 or 81. Can't remember. Uh, he's president of the United States. Uh, the former Speaker of the House was like, what, 82? Uh, the Senate minority leader, he's in his 80s. Uh, Mitch the Turtle. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to start making fun of everybody, you know, just to avoid all of the stigma of taking a side, which obviously I have taken aside. And recently I've sided with this country that's about the size of New Jersey that I think people want to get rid of. Certain people would like it to go away. Um, all right, let's get back to McCartney. So the tour is down under currently in uh, Adelaide, Australia, Paul McCartney doing a 39 song set, 81 years old. He's going to bang out 39 songs. McCartney launched the Got Back Tour back in February of 2022, completing 16 shows across the U.S. before performing his final concert of the year at the Glastonbury Festival in the U.K. The set list for 2023 was almost identical to what he did in 2022. With the notable addition of She's a Woman, which he hadn't played live since 2004. And yes, there's a clip of him performing She's a Woman. And I'm just going to say this. To be fair and diplomatic, um, they're the ones kind of emphasizing that Paul McCartney is 81 years old. So for 81 years old, for a guy to get up there and play as well as he does and sing, um, I, w I don't want to say he's not singing well, but he is still plausible if you turn the music up and you drink a few adult beverages, you're going to think to yourself, okay, I'm glad I went to see Paul McCartney. Now, Paul can just stand up there, tell jokes, tell stories, just be Paul McCartney, and it's good enough for you to go and see him. Now, 
he's not my favorite musician in the world or anything like that, but his influence uh, is, you just, how can you not love Paul McCartney? You know, um, and, and his bass playing too is is way up there. He's influenced a lot of people with his bass playing and his songwriting skills. Nobody is ever really going to top the team of Lennon and McCartney. And a lot of people think that, you know, McCartney is sort of the brains of the operation in that way. But I think it was kind of the chemistry that uh, made it work. Somebody to bounce ideas off of and write great songs. So he's just too much of a legend. And a lot of people overlook the band Wings. They, they don't get a lot of ink these days, but um, that's a great band with a great catalog and people should go back and listen to some of that material just to remind yourself of how good Wings was in addition to obviously the Beatles and Paul's solo material. Uh, Paul's band is still the same band. It features Paul Wickens on keyboards, Brian Ray on bass, Rusty Anderson playing guitar, and the great Abe Laboriel Jr. playing drums. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, the band is is great. Um, and even if Paul isn't where he used to be vocally, this is still worth going to see. So, in any event, uh, wishing Paul and his uh, team some great shows and some memories for some people who haven't uh, gotten to see Paul McCartney perform live. Thankfully, I have seen Paul uh, back in 1989 or 1990, can't remember exactly, right in that time frame. And the, the show was one of the greatest concerts I've ever seen. It just it just was. Linda was still around. Um and uh, that whole period of time where he was getting very creative again and he had a lot of um, success, even on rock stations. Paul McCartney was getting airplay again on rock stations. That would never happen today. You know, if Paul put out this great rock and song, it wouldn't it wouldn't fit in with, you know, the crap they're playing on active rock and classic rock just continues to ignore any new material by an older artist. And that's why, folks, you need to go listen to Modern Retro Radio. They're big fans of Paul McCartney. Um, they're just going to tell you flat out they love Paul. And uh, I love Paul, too. I think they love Paul more than I do. So you should go listen to them. Also, folks, um, again, um, don't forget about this album. This is the adult contemporary album of the year, according to me. This is a uh, Quint Starkey and Quintessential. Uh, Quintessential for your collection. And uh, I want to again just thank all of the patrons and supporters who continue to put up with me. God bless you all. God bless America. And yes, God bless Israel too. And really, God bless every country in the free world. See you soon.